您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是国际贸易英文。同学，大家好，我是主讲老师严燕珍 l o r n a 欢迎收看 English for International Trade 国际贸易英文的第一讲询问性。在我们国际贸易英文的课程里，会涵盖各类相关的英文书信。毕竟在国际间做交易时，我们还是需要常常使用英文跟各个国家做沟通。因此，在这十八讲的课程里，我们将会学习到较实用的英文书信写作，希望能够让同学在商场上更加有竞争力。接下来，在进入主题前，我们先来看看今天第一讲询问性的教学目标。本讲教学目标一，使学生了解国贸英文里的询问性架构。二、学习撰写询问信；三、了解询问信单字与常用句的用法；四、提升学生国贸英文书信的写作能力；五、培养运用国贸英文书信社交及沟通能力。当你开始写一封询问信时，要保持简单明了，试着把自己呢放在读者的角色里。在贸易商场上呢，通常买方向卖方询问事项时，这代表着对产品有兴趣。但这询问信要如何写，才能让卖方很清楚地了解你要问的事项呢？在这一讲里，我们会提到如何制作询问性格式，让你更有自信心地写出一封简单又有礼貌的信函。首先，我们先来看一下询问性的架构。以下有建议几个简单的步骤，能帮助你写出有效率的询问性。像在第一段里，信里的开头的部分呢，我们就要告知对方为何你要写这封信。第二段，我们可以提供公司的简介，介绍自己主要经营的项目、规模及形态等等。同时，也可以询问对方公司的相关资讯，以便对这家公司有初步的了解。再来呢，可以表示想与对方建立商务往来的意愿。最后，可以提出需求，像是索取目录或询价等等。第三段，也就是结尾的部分，再重述一次自己的要求，请对方回复。接下来，我们来看看一些实例。我们来看看 William 要告诉我们什么呢 ？Oh, hey, William. Welcome back. How was the International Hong Kong Trade Fair? It was a huge fair. I got to meet the marketing sales representative from Ubi Corporation. Have you checked out their latest catalog for their digital camera? I think we can purchase some of them if they can offer us a competitive price. What do you think? Yes, I did. Unfortunately, I don't have a copy of their latest catalog since they ran out. I'll have to write them and ask them for a catalog. I'll also ask if they can offer us a good deal. Well, UB Corporation is a well-known company, so I think we should be able to get a good deal. Ubi Corporation, third floor, 156 Ming Shan Road, Taipei, Taiwan. Website, www. 
ub.com.tw. Email ubc at trd.com.tw. Telephone number 886-277-225788. Fax 886-277-66. One, two, three, three. Dear Miss Ma, I am William from the UB Corporation. It was very nice to meet your marketing sales representatives at your booth at the Hong Kong International Trade Fair. I would be grateful if you would send me your latest catalog of digital cameras. I would like to purchase some of your products. If you can offer me a competitive price and a prompt delivery, I might consider placing an order of 2,500 cameras. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely yours, William Johnson, Director. 好的,那我们来看看这封信里的一些单字. Booth, 摊位. Trade Fair, 展销会或商品交易会. Grateful, 感谢的或感激的 Catalog 目录或者是目录册 Purchase 购买 Prompt 及时的迅速的 Delivery 投递或传送 接下来我们再来看一下这封信的中文翻译 首先呢，我们看到这封信的上方就是一个letterhead。在这个地方呢，我们要注明公司的名称、它的地址、网站、电子信箱、电话跟传真等等。接下来我们来看一下内容。Dear Miss Ma, 亲爱的马小姐。I'm William from UB Corporation. 我是UB股份公司的威廉. It was very nice to meet your marketing sales representatives at your booth at the Hong Kong International Trade Fair. 很高兴在香港国际贸易展览会上与你们的业务代表交谈. I would be grateful if you would send me your latest catalog of digital cameras. 如果您可以寄给我最新的数位相机目录, I would like to purchase some of your products. 我想购买你们一些商品。If you can offer me a competitive price and a prompt delivery, I might consider placing an order of 2,500 cameras. 如果你能保证及时交货，并且能报给我们具有竞争力的价格，我们或许可以订购两千五百台的数位相机。We look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely yours. 我们期待您的佳音，您真诚的。William Johnson, Director. William Johnson, 总监。接下来我们再来看看 William 还要再跟我们说些什么呢? We've got the marketing representative for the skateboards on the phone right now. Oh, can you ask him about the surfboard product as well? Oh, definitely. I'd love to find out about that stuff. I know. It's summer. Everyone's going to buy it. Buy that. Okay, well, he's saying he'll give us a great deal. Thank you. No, he has to go. Oh, by the way, our client called this morning. He's asking about our wireless headphone supply. He wants to buy 2,000 sets. Can you ask our supplier to prepare samples and their current catalog? Yes, I will. Oh, and also ask them for the price. Yes, I will do that as well. And once you receive the samples and catalog, can you please pass them to our client, Mr. Summer? Okay, I'll give him a call before I send it out. Thank you, William. You're welcome.
Dear Sir, we received an order from our clients regarding the wireless headphone supply in large quantities. Please send us some samples of your products and a copy of your latest catalog. We will pass them to our clients. In the meantime, please send us a competitive quote. Thanks for your help. Yours faithfully, William Johnson. 接下来，我们来看看这封信里的几个单字 ：sample（ 样本）、copy（ 副本）、pass（ 传递、传达）、in the meantime（ 同时）。接下来，我们来看一下这封信的中文翻译的部分。Dear Sir， 亲爱的先生。We received an order from our client regarding the wireless headphone supply in large quantities. 我们收到客户在询问有关订购大量无线耳机的供应问题。Please send us some samples of your products and a copy of your latest catalog. 请您寄给我们一些样品以及最新的目录。We will pass them to our clients. 我们会将此资讯传送给我们的客户。In the meantime, please send us a competitive quote. 同时，请提供给我们最具竞争力的报价。Thanks for your help. 谢谢您的协助。Yours faithfully, William Johnson. 您忠实的，威廉·强森。接下来呢，我们 William 还要再继续告诉同学一些其他的实例。Hey Emily, look what I found! A new design of multifunctional bag and headrest pillow. I believe that we have a big market here in Taiwan. There's a lot of business travelers. What do you think? I believe so. They look cool too. Why don't you email them and ask for a price quote? Yeah, sure. I'll get right on it. Oh, by the way, I want to get one too. I was thinking the same thing. Dear sir, we saw your advertisement on Traveler magazine and are interested in your line of multifunctional luggage bag as well as some headrest pillows. Which is quite appealing to a lot of business travelers in our market. Could you please quote us the items and discounts for regular purchases that listed on the enclosed query form? Perhaps you could also send us your current catalog at your earliest convenience. Your prompt reply would be appreciated. Yours faithfully. 接下来我们也来看看这封信里的几个单字。Headrest, 靠头之物 Pillow, 枕头 Business traveler, 商务旅行者 Discount, 折扣 Query, 询问 Convenience, 方便那接下来呢，我们也来看一下这封信的中文翻译 Dear sir. 亲爱的先生 ，We saw your advertisement on Traveler's Magazine, and are interested in your line of multifunctional luggage bags, as well as some headrest pillows, which is quite appealing to a lot of business travelers in our market. 我们看到您刊登在旅行者杂志的广告，并且对这一系列多功能旅行袋。以及枕头感到有兴趣，这些将可以吸引我们市场中的商务旅行者。Could you please quote us the items and discounts for regular purchase that listed on the enclosed query form? 请问您是否能依照附件里的货品询问单提供报价与折扣呢 ？Perhaps. You could also send us your current catalog, 
at your earliest convenience. 或者在您方便的时候，可同时寄给我们最近期的目录。Your prompt reply would be appreciated. Your faithfully. 感谢您及时的回复，您忠实的。看来我们 William 还想继续跟同学再分享一些实例哦。Hey William, some of our clients were asking about our GPS navigation system. I just checked Orange.com, and I think they might have something that we want. I know Miss Lee from Orange.com. She's the director of the sales department. Would you like me to write her? Oh, good. How do you know her? She used to be a colleague of mine, and she's a really nice lady. Then please ask her about more detailed information. Sure, I'll do that. She'll be surprised to hear from me. Thank you, William. Dear Miss Lee, how are you? Long time no see. Hope you are well. We have seen your website and we are interested in your range of GPS. Navigation systems. Could you please send us a current catalog that we could pass on to our prospective clients? Thank you. Best regards. 同样的，我们也来看一下这封信的几个单字。Wrench， 一系列。Current， 当前的，现行的。Perspective， 预期的。未来的，我们也来看一下中文翻译哦。Dear Miss Lee， 亲爱的李小姐 ，How are you？ 您好吗 ？Long time no see，Hope you are well。好久不见，希望您一切安好。We have seen your website。And we are interested in your range of GPS navigation systems. 我们造访过你们的网站。我们对你们一系列的 GPS 导航系统的业务范围具有兴趣。Could you please send us a current catalog that we would pass to our prospective clients? 是否可请您寄一份最新的目录？以便我们传送给我们的潜在客户。Thank you， 谢谢你。Best regards， 最好的问候。另外，我们再来看一封询问有关新产品及其他相关资讯的内容。Dear Miss Lee， we are interested in your new products. Please find and close the product specifications and sample needed. Could you also send us details of the following: your freight on board prices, your minimum order quantity, your estimated delivery time, your mode of payment. Please kindly send us your best quotation. We look forward to establish a long-term business relationship with you. Sincerely yours. 我们来看一下有关这封信的中文翻译。Dear Mr. Lee， 亲爱的李先生 ，We are interested in your new products。我们对您的新产品感到兴趣。Please find and close the product specification and sample needed。请查阅附件中所需的商品规格和样本。Could you also send us details of the following? 也请您寄给我们以下的详细资料。First, your FOB prices. 一，您的离岸价。Second, your minimum order quantity. 二，您订单的最低数量。Third. Your estimated delivery time. 
。三，您预计的交货时间。Fourth, your mode of payment. 四，您的付款方式。Please kindly send us your best quotation. 请给我你们最好的报价。We look forward to establish a long-term business relationship with you. 我们期望与您建立长期的业务关系。Sincerely yours, 诚挚问候。在我们看了许多 William 分享的实例，接下来呢，我们也要了解一下一些询问性的常用句子。一开头的部分，第一个，我们常用的几个句子 ：We acquire your information from the internet and have visited your website. 我们在网站上取得您的资讯，并且造访你们的网站。二 ，It was very nice meeting you at the Expo 2015 in Japan. 我们很开心在二零一五年的日本世界博览会上与您见面。三。We were pleased to meet you at the expo in Hong Kong. 我们很高兴能在香港的世界博览会见到您。在内文的部分，这里也提供了一些询问性的常用句。一 ，We are looking for new suppliers for good quality and low price. 我们在寻找新的可以提供好的品质与低廉价格的供应商。二 ，We are very interested in your computer keyboard. 我们对您的电脑键盘感到非常有兴趣。三 ，There is a steady and great demand for the high-quality digital cameras. At moderate prices in Taiwan. 在台湾，对于有高品质及平庸价格的数位相机来讲，它有稳固的市场需求。四 ，We would like to establish a favorable business relationship with you. 我们想与您建立一个良好的商业关系。五。I am very interested in knowing more about your products, especially the ones you introduced to me at the fair. 我们很有兴趣知道更多有关你们商品的讯息，特别是您曾经在展览会上跟我介绍过的商品。六 Please kindly inform your lowest price. For each of the following items, 请针对以下商品报最低的价格。七 ，I would like to know the availability of your heater. 我想知道贵公司目前是否有暖气机现货。八。We are interested to know whether you can supply the goods within one week. 我们想知道您是否能在一星期内供货。九 ，We are pleased to get in touch with you regarding the supply of LED flashlight. 我们非常高兴为 LED 手电筒一事与您接洽。十 ，Please send us a reasonable price quote. 请贵公司寄上一份合理的报价。再来就是结尾的部分。一 ，Thank you for your help. 谢谢您的协助。二 
Look forward to hearing from you soon. 期待能够尽快得到您的回复。三 ，Your prompt reply would be appreciated. 感谢您的及时回复。四 ，I'm very grateful for your kind attention. 我非常谢谢您的留意。五。We are looking forward to receiving your reply. 期待收到您的讯息。六 ，Hope that we can cooperate with each other in the near future. 希望未来有机会与贵公司合作。在英文书信里。会因为开头名称的写法不同呢，而改变结尾句的用法。所以接下来呢，我们来看看到底有哪些差别呢？当你不知道收件者名字时，开头与结尾近语的用法为：一，如果是以 “Dear Sir” 而开头，也就是说。当你不知道对方的名字时，你的结尾呢就要用 yours faithfully， 您忠实的。二 ，Dear Madam， 亲爱的女士，我们的结尾敬语用法也是用 yours faithfully， 您忠实的。再来就是当您知道收件者名字的时候。开头与结尾敬语的用法，像是一 ，Dear Mr. Smith， 这就是当你知道，呃，对方的姓名是什么，那我们结尾敬语就要用 Yours sincerely， 您真诚的，或者是二 ，Dear Miss Lee， 亲爱的李小姐 ，Yours sincerely。最后还有其他的结尾敬语用法。使用在当您知道收件者的名字的时候，一 best regards， 最好的问候；二 sincerely yours， 您真诚的；三 thank you， 谢谢您；四 warmest regards， 最温暖的问候；五 best wishes。最好的祝福。六 ，All the best， 祝一切顺利。同学们，在看完 William 给我们分享这么多实际例子后，有没有比较更加了解我们国际贸易的英文书信、询问信的写法要如何写呢？加上一些呃常用句的部分。相信同学呢，可以好好的利用这些句子来撰写一封非常棒的询问信。今天呢，我们询问信的这一讲就差不多讲到这里喽。下周我们再来看看第二讲回复询问信要如何的撰写，因为当我们写出询问信以后呢。当然也要了解了，要如何回复，才能让对方更加了解我们要讲的内容。所以呢，今天非常感谢同学的收看，希望呢下周同学再准时收看我们的节目喽。